compromised by the Chinese Communist Party knows where your children are, knows what they look like, what their voices sound like. How China is aggregating information. The more data it has on individuals, what they do, why they do it, who they are, the more it can create artificial intelligence based on that data. Zhenhua Data was in some cases able to get addresses, marital status, and even confidential bank records. Little is known of Zhenhua Data's mission, but its chief executive, Wang Xiaofeng, a former IBM employee, he's written at length about waging hybrid war, a constant state of conflict using all forces in peacetime, including invisible warfare for political purposes. It was by far the largest uh, surveillance system or open source intelligence system that I'd ever encountered. Canberra-based cybersecurity expert Robert Potter was recruited to restore it. He found two and a half million people were being tracked, including 35,000 Australians. So Genoa claims to work yeah, closely uh, in conjunction with the PLA and the Chinese uh, Ministry of State Security. They also claim to work with a range of partners in China. In particular, some have been involved uh, in surveillance in Xinjiang province. From North Korea through to Namibia uh, have files in this thing. So there were pretty significantly detailed profiles, even on government ministers and their children in Papua New Guinea. So all of this data was being kept in China. It was an Ali Cloud server. A lot of this information was being forwarded from servers that were deployed in other countries. The analysts within Genoa in the military space, they make assessments as to who's going to be the next commander of aircraft carriers. The company is an advocate for data being weaponized for military and intelligence purposes. A digital cold war on democracy. Andrew Probin, ABC News, Canberra.